Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is video 10 in this playlist. I figured I was gonna stop at nine, but there was a boatload of cool Metasploitable 2 uh, exploits that we can go through. So that's what we're gonna continue doing. So the other video was about Vulnhub. So hopefully you guys learned a lot from that. But now let's get back to Metasploitable and we're gonna exploit port 25, which is SMTP. We're gonna learn how to do that today. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And if you're returning, welcome back. And I really appreciate the support. So let's go ahead and jump on my Kali box, as you can see here. So first thing we're gonna do, I wanna do an LS. If you remember from a few videos ago, we uh, did a Nmap scan against my Metasploitable. So I, I believe it's MS2. I haven't booted this up in a few days. So let's go ahead and cat MS2. Oh man, if I can just type. Yep, so this is the output from the scan that we did a couple of videos ago. So the next port, I think we did, uh, if my memory serves me correct, we did port 21, SSH and Telnet. That's when we did the Wireshark and all that good stuff. So let's just keep going down, right? Let's do 80 probably next and just keep doing its thing. So let's go ahead and see what we can get on SMTP. So what does this mean? So if we try to enumerate this, uh, this port, see if we can try to get any information, we can pop open MSF console, Metasploit, we can search for some modules in there and see if there's any exploits or auxiliaries and just see what we can get, right? And this is how you can walk through, I wanna walk you through, I mean, through port 25 exploiting. So first thing we're gonna do is, I wanna go ahead and just open up a new tab, just so I can have my fancy tabs. And I wanna boot up MS, MSF console, and I am hungry. It's, what is it, 8.30 now on a Friday? This is what I'm doing on my Friday night, making videos for you folks. So let's give that a minute. And if you remember, we did a we did a passwords list and a users list. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run a tool, and it doesn't come default uh, inside Kali anymore, but you can run uh, SMTP user enum. So let's do that right here. So if you don't have it, when you when you run this command, SMTP hyphen user hyphen enum, like for enumeration. You can go ahead and install it. It should say you want to install it, hit Y for yes, and it goes on its merry way, all right? So what is this? This is a tool so you can enumerate SMTP users. So we have a users list, we have a passwords list, and we can see if this thing matches, right? So if you come down here, we can see different kinds of, uh, different kinds of options. And we're gonna actually open up a, another tab. And let me, whoop, oh man, why is this going? So I'm pressing the minus, that's why it got so small. All right, so what we can also do is try to do N, uh, netcat on port 25 against our, uh, so let's do NC in, uh, I don't know my IP address. I believe it's still the same. Let's do ping 200.6. I believe it's that. It's not that anymore. Uh, let's see. I thought it was. Uh, let, look, that was from my from the other video. 200.5. Okay, so 200.5 is to, is the IP. So let's go ahead and do that here. So 10 10.0.200.5. Oh man. Do NC and then port 25. So we can see here that it is working, you know? So what we're gonna do is try to run some verify commands against this to see if it's actually working. So let's do, uh, let's see, let's do VR, FY, uh, FY verify, um, MSF admin. Yeah, it is. So say for example, if I do uh, verify pat, for an example, let's try that. I'm not a user on that, right? So we're gonna go ahead and get a recipient address rejected. 
So this is telling me on that server, there is no path that sits on that box. So say for example, we can try another user, like uh, I, I believe if we come back here, let's go back to our first tab and let's cat users. So we can try user service host gr. So let's go ahead and just try to do users. So let's do v r f y user. User is good. So we can see you're getting the point, right? We're enumerating these kind uh, these users on that machine. So definitely, you know, use that. You can just go bye bye and uh, or exit control C. All right, so or you can do quit or whatever. So let's go ahead and come back here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try to enumerate some users, okay? So let's go give that a jingle. So what can I try? Uh, let's just do SMTP and then underscore enum, enum. Whoop, if I hit search. Oh, mean, yeah. Let's see if I try this again. All right, so there's an auxiliary scanner for SMTP. So let's do zero. Let's clear this. Let's do show options. So we have some options here. We have to fill in our host. So we can set our host to 10.0.200.5 because that's my Metasploitable machine, if you remember. And the next thing is, there should be it. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and run now. Let's see. So what this is going to do inside of this uh, file, there's going to be these users. So what you can also do, because this is the default. So let me do this. Um, let's go ahead and all right. What I'm going to do is just copy this the long way because I'm uh, I'm a little slow. All right. So let, let's do like this. Do do do. Copy this and backspace, 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 paste. And I know I just whacked that all. All right, so I believe that's it. Let's see. Users, user.txt. All right, so let's do .txt. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to copy this and then I want to cat that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our terminal. And while that's cooking, we can go ahead and clear this cat. So what did I just do? So I just catted all the users that reside in here and there's admin, administrator, anon, uh, underscore APT, backup, um, auditor, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a, there's a few, you know, a few usernames, excuse me, in here. So what it's going to do, it's going to go through it here, oh, not there, sorry. Let's actually control C there. In here, this is gonna go and try to enumerate all those users. So yeah, there's not, okay, let me see. I'm just showing you guys how to enumerate these. There's no really exploiting. We're not exploiting like a mail server. We're actually just finding out what users reside on here. So then if this was a real assessment, you can go ahead and further investigate these users and passwords and maybe try to log in in a, in a portal or something like that. So the next, the next video, and we'll talk about port 80 and we'll see what's going on in there. But I think once this is done, we'll, uh, we'll get some feedback. So with that, let me see, uh, let, me, uh, let me see, let me drop this down. I just made some notes over here. So yeah, pretty much that's, that's pretty much it. So yeah, let me go ahead and run the, the, uh, the SMT, SMTP user enum. So let, 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 let's do that, uh, SMTP. All right, so let's do enter again. So we're gonna do dash M for mode, verify and users. And then the dash T is for host. If you can come up here, we can see the host server. So let's do up arrow dash capital M verify. No, VR. Oh man, I guess uh, we have to type all this out. Okay, dash users. 
user. Oh man, users. Oh, users, sorry, not dash users. And then dash T and then 10.0.200.5. Oh, did I mess something up? Let me, well, let me clear this. Uh, SNTV to be verified. I believe that's that's pretty much it. Uh, did I mess something? Oh, yes, I did. So we have to do the mode dash U users. Okay, there we go. All right, let me try to make this a little smaller. All right, so if we come back up here, we can look at this results, right? So the scan information that we got back was the mode was verified. We found uh, work in processes, there was five inside of the user.txt. We have a target count of one. We only did it against our Metasploitable box. The username count, we, we found four matches because we pretty much knew them all. Uh, the target uh, TCP port was 25, which is SMTP, right? It only took about five seconds. And then we can see here, MSF admin exists, service exists. So let's go ahead and I wanna put, uh, let's go ahead and do nano, nano users, okay? So with the user, I wanna go ahead and just put Pat, um, Beth, and Val, okay? and because those people are very special to me. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a go again. So as you can see here, we have seven user counts and then four results. You see, so all, uh, all but those three were found because there is no Beth, there is no Val, there is no Pat. So you guys get the gist. So what, what you can do here is say, for example, you have a, uh, a user list from a client or you know, an SMTP server that you're trying to test against, you can use this technique to see if those users are valid, right? So, and there's obviously a boatload of other, other uh, techniques, but this is, you know, this is what, what we're trying to do here, right? Set up a free lab to, to, to learn and to utilize Metasploitable to its full capacity, right? There's so many ports open, there's so many services open, and it's just a boatload of fun to learn all these techniques and all that stuff. All right, so let's see if uh, if this is done. Perfect, this is done. All right, so let's go ahead and review this. So we have users found, we have backup, bin, daemon, etc. all of these FTP games, all these users were found, right? So there was a lot more than we knew about, right? So I only knew those because I, I wrote those down from you know years, years ago when I started using Metasploitable. And I didn't know all these uses exist, to be quite honest. But so now we know. So you can take this, put this in a, you know, in a in a in a file and notes and all that stuff, and you, you can use it for later, right? So this is pretty much a walkthrough of enumerating and you know, if you want to go exploit uh, port 25, which is SMTP. So hopefully this has been informative for you guys. I really enjoy making these videos, please like, subscribe, share. We're trying to grow this channel. And for all the super fans, to all the super thanks, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And I want to shut you guys out. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And for my members as well, I really appreciate you guys. It motivates me more to make these videos. So cheers for that, man. Thank you so much. And until next time, have a beautiful day.